This morning on the news, I saw that when people at my age leave school, most of the jobs they'll be applying for, they don't even exist yet. So what exactly is school preparing us for? Well, we don't really know. Not even the experts know. But like the world around us, our school right and park is changing every day. That's right. Now let's have a look at how ICT is an integral part of running our school. At Brighton Park, every class uses an electronic register. And if someone doesn't get school in time, the computer system links to parents to find out where they are. This ensures all children are in school every day on time to maximise teaching and learning. The recent investment in a complete communication system has linked the whole school together and has made communication a breeze. Let's join some foundation stage children as they use the system to have, have a hands-on experience of booking an appointment at the doctor's. This is the doctor. Is appointment for my baby? Where's the cupboard? She's been sick. Can I come today? Bye! 14% of the pupils at Ryton Park are from other countries. Staff here at Ryton Park have developed interactive software to communicate with new arrivals as part of enabling them to feel welcome and comfortable. So as you can see, ICT plays a pivotal role in the system that underpins the running of Ryton Park. But what about in the classroom? Recently we have moved from three older buildings into one brand new build. A lot of thought was put into planning our new school to ensure that ICT could be used to help us learn. As part of our vision to facilitate personalised learning at Ryton Park, we have introduced iPod Touches to the classroom. Children are now able to choose the tools they want to use for learning, such as a netbook, laptop, iPod book or even pen and paper. With so many bilingual children at Wrighton Park, it is important for us to make sure that we have the right technologies in place to support their learning. The Coral Plans play a pivotal role as a communications tool, enabling staff to communicate with parents and children. As well as using the recorder pen to record their own work, children have found other uses for the devices. We can listen to this display in two separate languages. Digital cameras have become part of a day-to-day -day learning experience for children at Ryton Park. We also have large interactive LED screens in every classroom which our teachers use to access quality learning resources which they can share with us. This makes our learning much more interesting and fun. Ryton Park School has an array of computers throughout school to enhance teaching and learning. These are used as research stations and writing tools, as well as to provide support for curriculum subjects through educational software. Key Stage 2 children can also take their netbooks home so they can continue learning out of school hours. The netbooks enable us to have access to quality learning resources at home via educational software on our computers and gives us access to our school learning platform. We can also show our parents what we are learning about at school. So we've seen iPods, laptops, recorded pens, digital cameras and state-of-the-art facilities, but there is still so much more to see. We use digital video to create our very own weekly news programme, RPTV. RPTV is filmed entirely by children and shown to the whole school, nearly 600 children every week bringing our assemblers into the 21st century. RPTV has its very own studio, complete with full HD cameras and auto cue, and even our very own green screen. Using this alongside digital software, we can create a virtual studio to give every episode of RPTV that professional edge. The news team covers school trips, special events, and interviews very important people. And now we're on Wrighton Park School TV. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. Wrighton Park, I think it's fantastic because when I was at school and I did want to be a journalist, we would never have had facilities like this to be able to do the sort of things you do. We also carry out regular Vox Box to find out a children's point of view on current issues. Our coverage of 2007 floods was even used by ITV. One of the successes of Wrighton Park TV is that it's completely visual.
making it easy accessible to children who are new to English and on occasion we include other languages as part of the programmes. But our use of video doesn't end there. Let's take a look at how Key Stage 1 has been using video conferencing. At Radson Park we now use video conferencing to connect to other classrooms as it is a great way to share what we are doing. We can also use this technology to link directly to Mr Lilly, our head teacher's office, to show him our super work. Here the children are video conferencing the children's author, Jan Oki. We are also able to take our school into our homes by our virtual classrooms within our school learning platform. Funter can be accessed from any computer with the internet. These children are connecting up from their home. And if children do not have internet access at their home, they can use the school learning platform at the local library for free. So to open our eyes for the future, the only real limit is our imagination.